Hello and welcome to my channel. My channel is about my ketogenic lifestyle that has now switched to a carnivorous lifestyle. I run both lifestyles hand in hand. On my video, what you should expect to find is ketogenic videos, carnivore videos, as well as videos about how to fix your home and your vehicle. I think these are the most important things in people's life that cause the most stress at times. Unfortunately, I do not have children, so I can't hit that topic, and I don't have a spouse, so I cannot hit that topic either. The only ones that I can relate to are your home stresses, your automotive stresses, and your dietary stresses. So I'm going to do my best in my journey to help you de-stress yourself in those areas. Realize every video may not be a ketogenic video. The video that you're about to watch may not be a ketogenic video. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your time. Keto on, carnivore on, and remember this is your life. You got to live it. Try to be as healthy as possible. Thank you. I'm getting doggy sugars this morning. This is one of the puppies that was dumped on the road. She's getting so friggin' big. She jumps up here on top of me on Sunday whenever I'm cooking my food for the day and she sprawls out and she wants me to sing to her. So I end up singing some kind of gospel song or something like that. And We've been doing this almost every Sunday now. Just as like a Sunday thing for church or whatever, you know. It's God's day is what they say. So that's um, so what it says in the Bible anyway. So I'll lay around some days on Sunday and I'll rock to them and, and sing. You need a right baby. You need a right mama. Tell her we sing, we sing our favorite songs and sometimes we fall asleep. You know right. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Christ the Lord. She's falling asleep. She is falling asleep already. You big baby. There's my other munchings. This big girl. Now where's Peanut at? Peanut. Peanut. Nut butter. Isn't that right, Peanut? Isn't that right, Peanut? Come on, Peanut. Come on, Peanut. Come here, babe. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Good girl. Hey, the good girl. Look at this good girl. I think a couple of these guys are a little bit jealous. Okay. Get down. So, what happened about tell you exactly let's go over here and look at the calendar when I first moved down here to Louisiana I had noticed that animals are dumped down here anywhere just because there are garbage dumps kind of like all over the place and they think animals are gonna survive but animals are treated with no respect down here at all and it's kind of what bothers me the most so my date right here on paperwork this is the vaccination shot thing that I keep track of. It's, uh, I don't know if some of you can see or not. But it's March 5th, 2018. And two weeks prior to that is when we picked them up on the road. And as soon as I got back, I started giving them their 10 and 1 shots and vaccinating them. And, uh, they were dumped on the road. So basically I was leaving my driveway and just so some of you can get an idea on what it looks like. I don't live anywhere where I've got good service or anything. I have probably run of the mill Wi Fi and come on girls, go, go. It's very hard to keep the grass up around here. So literally everything is sand all the way out, all the way down the road. Out here you don't get people coming by a lot. You know, get people knocking on your door. I mean, this is what they would probably call God's country. So, with that being said, um, the puppies were down the road about 
an eighth of a mile. And I was driving down the road and they jetted out in front of me and almost hit them. I had to lock up the brakes. And I had seen a car just driving off in front of us where they had dumped these puppies right on the road. And they were just itty bitty tiny things before. And what are you doing? What are you doing? And now they're 40 pound dogs and living the life, you know. I take very good care of them. I feed them a grain-free based food that's best for their digestive system. And uh, I feel like people should be more compassionate for animals and things of that nature, but they're just not. They just act like animals are disposable down here and that's the thing that sucks. But anyhow, these guys are healthy and look, come here, come here, come here. Come here. <laughs> They're monsters. They're monsters. They're monsters. They're gifts, really. I call them monsters, but they're gifts. And, you know, they've. it helps with my PTSD, my anxiety, my depression, and stuff like that. Uh, you know, so along with the diet, having something that uh, the big man upstairs has blessed me with is what's the most important thing to me is taking care of God's creation. And uh, I know some of you don't follow the way I follow. Some of you are different religion, stuff like that. Uh, I definitely think that the Christian thing to do would be continue talking and continue living in your faith and being honest with who you are. Regardless if people don't approve of it or not. I know some people have asked me not to bring up religious stuff in my content. I, I just, I can't help it. It's part of me. It's who I am. It's what I believe in. And we all don't have to believe in the same thing anyway. So, uh, I appreciate all of your support. And I appreciate you guys being here for me. And I'm going to continue doing that for you the best I can. Uh, and we're just... Just leave it at that network. Obviously try to keep the drama out of it because there's been a lot of drama lately, but uh, that's over with and that's done. I've moved on from all that. I'm not going to let any anybody else affect me and my content anymore and, and how I put out my information. So um, anyhow, guys, thank you. Happy Sunday. Uh, enjoy yourself. And uh, keto on, carnivore on, and it's your life. Live it. The healthy way thanks guys thank you for watching the video i appreciate your time your support i appreciate you letting me be part of your journey thank you for letting me talk about the things that i typically can offer my advice on because that's the only thing i can relate to at this time fixing homes fixing cars and dietary fixes these issues are the common stresses in my life as i'm sure some of them are in yours so if i can do anything to make your life any easier or de-stress it anyhow that means I'm winning, and you're winning. Thank you for being a part of this again. Keto on, carnivore on, and remember this is your life. Live it the healthy way. Thanks, guys.